Something that we've been looking into as investigative journalists is whether or not companies or ISPs, internet service providers, and domain-oriented companies that you can purchase a domain and hosting from tend to abuse popular name brands. You see, you might have a small company and you might be a overproducer of content and that you have a lot of content up on a domain, meaning you're maximizing to the fullest potential of what you purchase in terms of the housing of your website, which is of course called the hosting. But a lot of times you might not have hundreds of viewers and to some companies they don't like that. Now it may not be correct to say it, but we often wonder whether or not a company that you've just typed in your website domain name to to see if you can purchase it, and you hear from that company that you normally use for purchasing that, that the domain is, you know, somewhere between 2 and $12. Then the next day you go back with your credit card to purchase it, and what do you find? That now that domain name is no longer available, it's being held over by another corporation, and it's being sold for $1,500. What in the motherfuck happened overnight, and who the hell had the information to do that? Or was it some employee who's ill-willed, who's been watching and monitoring what you're doing on their Wi-Fi, that decided to buy something you plan to buy, and screw you out of your branding? And that's a problem we have today, with an inappropriate use of company Wi-Fi.